Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna open up this box. I believe this one has the Jackson TX2, so let's get started. Alright, so this is the Jackson TX2 valve kit. So here's Jackson TX2, so it's also for me to first time opening this box so it's very exciting for me so on the side here it says NVIDIA JSON TS2 module and has Pascal GPU with 256 CUDA cores so in order to use this CUDA cores I bought this one in order to use this with the, um, some machine learning libraries such as TensorFlow and this is quite heavy this is quite heavy than I thought. Well, let's just open this up. And this one here. Alright, so let's look at the Jackson TX2 itself. Here is a nice padding on the top. It's quite nice. Here we go. So here is Jackson TX2 itself. It's on a nice back here. In order to save like, from the electric shock. Okay, so I believe there should have something more. And it says development kit. And what's in here? And here are some safety guide. We don't need that. Unless how do I open this? Alright, so here's power core. Here's DC to AC block. So let me check the voltage. This one has 19 volts with a 4.74 ampere, so 90 watts max. That's nice. And here are some cables. The USB to full-size USB and some USB cables and Wi-Fi antennas. All right, um, I think that's it for in the box. And let's open this up. Plastic, you, you see here. Oh, it has like rubber on the bottom, so it doesn't. Oh, it's nice. So, this size here with the fan, this one is the model, uh, the Jackson TS2 module itself. So, that's it. That's all the where the cores are. Those, all the board are just fair floors. You don't need this, but well, in order to use this with the like USB stuff, you need this. So this is Jason TX2. This this itself, right? It says NVIDIA Jason TS2, and there are some ports, power, wireless, USB, HDMI, SD card, Ethernet, uh, PCI, SATA, and here are some switches. And this one, uh, not pretty sure with the names, but I think this is GPIO, General Purpose Input Output. And here is like built-in camera. It comes with a camera, so you can use this for like OpenCV or anything you want to use for. I I'm not sure with the quality though. And here is a PCI E slot, so well. I don't know if you can plug the SSD in here, but I hope I can do so, so I can use some of those. So, all right. It's nice. And the size, I heard this is same size to the ITX board, which is very small uh, board for the desktop computer. So this should be pretty small and this consumes very low power so 
I am planning to use this for the like machine learning stuff and I'm planning to build this into the car so I can utilize this with the cars the batteries alternator so I'm playing on that so I think that's it for unboxing thank you for watching bye bye